Composting food waste can emit a lot of methane depending on how we manage the process. Methane is one greenhouse gas that we're trying to avoid when we promote diverting food waste from landfill. We must understand the principles of how methane is produced and emitted so that we can manage our composting processes accordingly. The fundamental principle is that methane is produced by microorganisms decomposing organic matter when there's not enough oxygen in their environment. This means that we must manage our compost process to provide adequate aeration. It also means that we have to manage the moisture content to optimize oxygen transfer. There are two stages to the compost process that we must consider. The first is the active compost process where primary degradation of the food waste occurs. The second is the curing process, where the degradation continues, but at a slower rate. Both are very important for producing quality compost. During the active compost process, providing enough air and maintaining the moisture content below 60% is the key to reducing methane emissions. Research with actively composting food waste has shown that methane emissions increased 100 times when not enough air was provided. In the same research, they found that the methane emissions increased a thousand times when the moisture content of the composting food waste increased from 44 to 66 percent. Measuring potential methane emission following active composting is also very important. Providing enough air and managing the moisture content in these large piles of curing material reduces methane emissions. Why is measuring this relevant? A study in Europe found that 5% of methane emission occurred during the first three weeks of aerated composting of food waste and 95% occurred following that, such as in these large curing piles. When we hope to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by diverting food waste from landfill and composting them, managing the compost process well during active composting and during curing is really important. It's especially true in south coastal British Columbia where we have high rainfall during six months of the year. How much methane is actually being emitted from these large curing piles that are exposed to the air? In the next video, we'll talk about another greenhouse gas that we meet during the compost process. This one is called nitrous oxide, otherwise known as laughing gas. My name is John Paul. I'm a waste management scientist and compost specialist. Thank you.